find a chord in you that agrees, then you will let the power of the universe flow from you too, and the abundance will be yours. Let's go on a buffalo hunt now. Let's ride our ponies down into that buffalo herd. If you listen closely, you're going to be able to hear the sound that an arrow makes when it leaves the bow and connects with the source of abundance. Music is such a, an important part, uh, I think, of any, of any child's development. Uh, it gives them a chance to uh, use their mind, their bodies, uh, find the rhythm, uh, and you know, it uses both sides of the brain. It's, it's very important, I think, to the development of kids' overall personality. The, the students are, of course, in the time of their life when they're coming into knowing who they are and, and wanting to express themselves in, 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 in their personal power. And, of course, the teachers and the parents are, are trying to say, no, don't do what you want to do, do what we want you to do. So there's this, this struggle between the, the, the two of them. And so I, want, I guess my message would be to the student is to be true to yourself and, uh, of course, listen to your teachers and parents, but don't let them change your course. I mean, if you have a dream, a desire to do something, keep that dream and desire alive. I was on scholarship at Arizona State University, so going to Grady Gamage and seeing these great performances by orchestras and dancers and, and combos and groups and things like that, I mean, that inspired me. I always knew that I wanted to play the violin, that I wanted to be a performer. Mm -hmm. And uh, part of the obstacle that I ran into in college was that my professors didn't want me to be a performer. They wanted me to be a teacher. But my dream was to be a performer. So there was that conflict even in, in college of what my dream was and what they wanted, to, wanted me to do. Thank you very much.